Welcome back to AM Northwest. If you're suffering from chronic pain or infections, your mouth may be to blame, even if the issue is elsewhere in your body. Here to tell us more, we welcome back from Sleep Dentistry Defined, Dr. Heath Lampy. Good to see you. Thank you so much, Helen. So talk to me about these infections that people come to you, they're not feeling well, and then you find out there's an infection. Yeah, I have a lot of patients that come in um, for months or mm -hmm. years. Um, their energy has been lacking. Uh, they have sinus infections, um, sinus inflammation. Um, they have constant sore throat and they, they don't know what's going on. They've been to other doctors. They've been to ear, nose, and throat doctors. Mm -hmm. They've been to their regular physician. And, you know, maybe they get some antibiotics, but then the infections always seem to come back. And a lot of these patients haven't been to the dentist in a long time, so they don't know what's going on in their mouths. Oh, so what have you discovered? So by actually taking x-rays, doing a, a, a very thorough examination, mm -hmm. I often find that sometimes there are upper molars and premolars, top, top teeth up here, that are actually drained into the sinuses. They're infected teeth. So when teeth are infected from cavities or old root canals, mm -hmm. they can actually drain into the sinuses. And so that reason alone is why they have um, sinus infection, sinus inflammation, why they can't breathe through their nose. Wow, and so, that's all connected. Yes, yes. Wow. And um, we had a patient just recently, there were three infected molars draining into his sinuses, and the infections were so big that we weren't able to save the teeth. The day after we took the teeth out, he could actually breathe again throughout Incredible. his nose. You know, this has been going on for months or years. Right. And just a day after taking the infection out, which was constantly draining the sinus, the sinus could finally heal. That's why you talk about it, everything being so connected. Yes. Right? I and mean, if so if you're not feeling well, it may not be that you have some infection yeah. elsewhere in your body. It could be in your mouth. Yeah, you may not have sinus disease. You, right. have, you have a dental infection. Right. And a lot of times on um, lower molars, they can be draining down into the spaces here, the throat. I had a patient recently where she had a constant sore throat, didn't know what was going on. Went to her other doctor, got antibiotics, kept on coming back. Turns out she has two infected molars that are just slowly draining down here. How do you determine? I mean, is it, is it just through x-rays that you can see infections like that? Um, sometimes just looking in the mouth, you can see if there's an abscess or something, but right. oftentimes it's infections. There are these dark spaces at the ends of the roots where infection is growing, and that's where abscesses start and where they basically start leaking into the rest of the body systems. So once you remove those teeth, the yeah. infected teeth, usually people come back to you feeling like 100% better. Yeah, their energy uh, is better. The, the sinus infection is gone. The sore throat is better. It's really, really weird. This isn't something they really train us in school or anything like that. Right. But you really have to witness it firsthand to see that this actually works. What? And do you have them go on any medication or usually this? It was One, once the offending tooth is taken care of, whether you know you fix the cavity or actually take the tooth out, the body can heal itself now because the focus of the infection was a tooth. When you take out the root source of the infection, the rest of the body can do its job and the right. immune system can finish it off basically. Well, and if people are walking around constantly feeling bad and not knowing why, and once they find out there's an infection and you can take care of it, then they've just got to be feeling a whole ton better. Yeah. You yeah. know? I mean, once everything is done, once they're healed, they, they oftentimes are like different people. It's wonderful. It is a new lease on life. And then have you had people come in with infections on both the upper and lower? I mean, at some point? Every day. Oh, really? Every day. You would be surprised at how much infection is just walking around, you know. What, um, ca what causes that in the first place? A lot of people don't go to the dentist for 5, 10, 20 years, or right. they have soft enamel, and they're just prone to cavities and infection in their mouth. Or they've cracked a tooth and something yeah. got in there, yeah. right? But a lot of times, it's cracked teeth, but a lot of times it's genetics. They got soft, they had a lot of cavities as kids, they have soft enamel, and really it's just they're prone to dental infections. But they can have it taken care of. Absolutely. That's fantastic. Yeah. If you'd like to find out more, call Sleep Dentistry Defined, 503-646-2273. We'll put that information for you on our website at ku2.com. Doctor, thank you very much. Thank you so much.